Are you going to win this one? I have no idea. Could I win this one? Yeah, I could. I got enough places that I think big ones live that I could win. Oh my gosh. Big in. I know where that can happen. It's quite needed. It just is a matter of me making the right decisions at the right times. That's the size we need. It can happen quick. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that's the right time. Meat nuggets. Some meat nuggets. M-E-A-T meat nuggets. That's a big one. Yep, that's the right time. Such a huge after. Oh my gosh, are you Dude, oh my gosh. I'm gonna be like, so close. Yeah. We'll see. Find out what happens. I woke up this morning to a little note. Let's move this into the light so you can see this. GoPro Max, vlog last day of practice. Kyle Sleep, Brandon Fish. His He's sweeping. We just gonna let him sleep. Tiff said yesterday the fire alarm was going off twice. He never even woke up. I love coming up north this time of year, but man, the daylight hours are long. Been getting up about 5.30, excuse me, 4.30. Getting on the water about 5.15ish. And uh, getting off the water about nine o'clock every night. All righty. Get this party started. This is my favorite place to fish in the entire world. Fishing wise, I've been bouncing back and forth between the lake and the river. Uh, I really, when they said the lake was open, I would have told you I was gonna get one in the lake for sure. But it's been kind of stingy. It has been super unproductive. I've been trying some new stuff. I'm trying to fish a little deeper. I see fish, but I'm not sure any of them are smallmouth. I'm just not catching them. Like literally, I haven't caught a bass over four inches today. And it's 10 o'clock. I got about three hours to go. We got lots of work to do. All right, it is the last day of practice on the St. Lawrence River. Brandon has 25 minutes left. Tiff is currently working on the trailer. This is Tiff's little spot where she's been working. I've pretty much been doing nothing all day. So I'm gonna give you a brief tour of uh, all the best snacks in the RV right now. Open up the cabinet. Personally, this is my favorite area. You got all kinds of, you got cliff bars, epic bars, more epic bars, whatever these breakfast cookies are, nut butter, pistachios, Kodiak cakes, we have chips. This is the stuff Tiff normally uses for, for baking. I know nothing of that. Triscuits, we have cereal, tortellini salad, chicken from Japan. These chocolates, these are the best. White Thunder, when Brandon wins, that I get to eat one of these White Thunder candy bars from Japan. Nathan? What's up? Any extras on the snacks? I already gave the full rundown. Did you talk about the breakfast of champions? Breakfast. Our, our oatmeal? Oh, the Kodiak cakes? Yeah. yeah. yeah you Definitely plug that. Kodiak's cakes. Welcome back, everybody. We're on the St. Lawrence River. It's been kind of a long break again. Cayuga got postponed, figuring out where that's going to be. But we are on the St. Lawrence River my favorite place in all of bass fishing world, right here. And guess what? They moved it from Waddington down to Clayton, which is closer to the lake. They opened up the lake. We're not allowed to fish in Canada this week, but the lake is open. It's right there, we can see it. And uh, weather's supposed to be nice. It's fishing a little tougher this week though. I don't know what's going on. It's been really hot. I don't know if the fish have moved super deep. 
or if they're just spread out transitioning but it's the motherland of giant smallmouth so it's still gonna take 22 plus a day to win like what's what's on the the plate for tonight what's what's going on elk meatloaf yeah it's one of my favorites elk meatloaf lasagna you know a lot of like real heavy stuff but as long as it's made with elk it's delicious it's, so, nice. it's actually ready so let's go eat right now yeah right now i gotta eat too uh yes and kayla because she was so nicely waiting yeah. you eating first or me <laughs> who said laugh. you were eating Kayla hasn't eaten yet that's okay there's that's okay a whole, there's a whole no eat before kyle oh yeah we don't, you want, you don't want him like touching all the utensils before you. It's a guinea fail. It's a turkey, Tiffany. Is that In what case they call we were wondering. Guinea fowl? Is no. That... no. There's no <laughs> way, you gotta be right, otherwise you never live it down. No, but You've it says turkey right. right there. No, only because I said what looks like a turkey, but isn't. Well, they both. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I found it on Google. Okay, so it's not weird that I thought it may be. Yeah, no, it They're was close. What, what okay. it is it was. That's all I want to hear. Baby Princess. Ah, good. Got more sleep than I've been getting. Feeling refreshed. I still haven't fully made a decision yet. But we're getting there. I spent one day in the river and actually had my biggest bag of the week in the river. But yet, because I know what the lake is capable of, I still am like pulled toward the lake. And so right now I have this back and forth battle of like, hey, you caught them better in the river and you didn't spend that much time in the river, but yet I still want to go to the lake because I know what it's capable of, even though I didn't really find it. Party's about to get started, boys and girls. Day one, St. Lawrence River. As you can see, slightly different scenery than normal. We're launching at Clayton instead of Waddington this week. Uh, due to all the corona stuff, we had to switch venues for all our testing because we're under a professional sports exemption. About to get started right now. Let the bottle rockets fly. Go time. Here goes Cox. Either Fighter or Bob Downey said all these years I've had it to myself and we launch out of Clayton. No more secrets. That feels little because it is little. Magnum. We're gonna have to get a lot bigger if we're gonna one v choose you. No, 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 no. Same size that. We got five. If those would have just been all four, four plusers. Then we'd be doing all right. There we go. That's a big one. Get in here. A little better. Good trade, though. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Isn't it funny that the two places that I've caught them best, there's been no boats? Feels big. No? No? Throw the vibe. Throw out the big fish vibe. We might get rid of our smallest one, maybe. It's way back there, too, but it's a good one. Let's go check a little shallow spot real quick. I'm a little bit behind 
schedule where I'd like to be, really, but it can happen so fast here. Okay. It's gonna go today. First time that's happened today. It's bad. It's bad, bad. I reel it down in the reel so I can't move. So I start hand line and I got the live camera running. On a spinning rod? Yeah, I get him up there to the boat and he jumps. Sorry, Maryland. The sun was in the And he comes off and I dive in the lake after him and pull it to the boat and steal it. Oh. True story once. It's just a matter of getting around them. We're in that time of year where these fish are really transitioning a lot. And it's just, it's been a weird day. That's all I can say is it's really taken some adjustments, which is okay. Five fish today, 17 pounds, eight pounds. Well, that was a pretty rough day. But surprisingly, I've actually had worse starts on this place. Um, thank goodness I had those two, those two good ones. That helped a lot. So, 17 and a half gets us started, but we're, problem is we're about 10 pounds behind the lead. And that's two guys. 27, 27, one, third's like 26. They'll probably be, I don't know, 20 bags over 20. So we got some work to do, but it's all right. I gotta There's ask, still time. Uh, is this a typical Brandon playbook, St. Lawrence? Uh, Unfortunately, yes. Other than the time I won, the time I won, I led the first day. But I think almost every other time, I'm like way down in the hole the first day, and then I come back on day two. Hope that happens tomorrow. This is you. And this, this is, is the guy, guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> True. The fact that Kyle hasn't eaten any breakfast yet. I'm I'm honestly I'm yeah. trying to do my job over here, Brandon. And we leave him like I know, man. Okay, give me an intro. <laughs> Day two intro. Mouthful. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna give you a different intro. I'll give it to you. Not this intro? We're an intro from a GoPro this morning. Always making things so difficult. Brandon, if Brandon, if there's no intro, it's because Brandon didn't get it on GoPro. Mm -hmm. Intro? Did you smell? I already told you when I'm gonna do my intro. That's not a GoPro. That, but it's a good intro. Okay, go ahead. No, I don't want to do it. Oh. Yeah, maybe you should do it. Yeah. All right. Today is day two, St. Lawrence River. I'm really tired. Day two is usually more difficult than day one. I've only had half the amount of coffee so far. Did you? Are you wafting right now? <laughs> Man, I can taste it. <laughs> Palatable. Oh my God, you kept wafting, dude. <laughs> What do you feed that guy at night? Ooh, a little, little smell over here. No intro? It's not time. Unless you're not getting an intro. What's up, man? Morning. Let's get it done. Oh, yeah. Welcome to It Doesn't Matter. <laughs> St. Lawrence River, Lake, River, Giant Small Mouse. Check it out. I like it. Doesn't matter. See, Fighter does it way better than you. He does. Day number two on the St. Lawrence River, and this is about as perfect a day as you can have for smallmouth bass fishing. The lake is open, and the leaderboard is going to change today. I mean, that's all I got. I mean, other than that, I'm masked up and happy to be back at work. Day two. Got ourselves in the middle of the pack after day one, 17 and a half. It's rally day, St. Lawrence River. Blasting off at a lake, New York. Let's go get it. I'm kind of 
kind of feeling it today. Kind of feeling it. Starting off sunny. The small mouse smash fest. I get it started. Big fish vibe. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that's the right kind. Oh, goodness. Ah, Stop that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the right kind. We'll put you on this side. One of the right ones. Four more bites. Looks like someone just showed up to the party. Oh. It's a healthy one. Yeah. Well, it's a decent one. Not a giant one, but a decent one. He might go one. I don't know. Little meat nugget. That one crushed it. Oh my goodness. That is the other one we were looking for. Get in here! Yeah! Not letting you get away. Oh! Meat nuggets. I knew I could see one over there. Mega 360 is amazing. It's not terrible. That's a good call. That's our trade. Not playing it safe. Not just trying to make the cut today. Just trying to get back in this thing. I can see him, I just can't catch him. Have at it. I got maybe 17. How about you? I don't know, I got three spots like this and I can't get him to bite. Wow, they have just like vacated. Gosh, dang, they followed it down. We're not that big. We're not that big. I was expecting it to be a big one. I feel like I just need one more big one. This is literally like the drop I caught a five and a half pounder on in practice. Oh, it's a big one too. This is the bite we needed. I mean, like the exact same drop I got a five and a half pounder in practice. I think it'll pull, but it's not four pounder. We should pull that one, huh? Yeah, he does pull. Not by a lot. Uh, it's so flat and sunny. We got a little ripple here, but back there it was just dead calm. When you can see like this, they get up here good. God, oh my God, big in. Yes! I pitched out there, out in front of her up on the ledge, and watched her swim up there and eat it. I think I might have a little more than 19. Watch the scale, 17.8 yesterday. 21 pounds, 15 ounces. 
Yeah. Day number two with 39 pounds, seven ounces. He moves inside the top of seventh place Actually, and looks to go to work. I have no idea what we're gonna do. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. Been getting some questions about the new merch. Got some t-shirts, regular logo stuff. You guys can support the videos if you guys like the videos. And we got some cool drawings. This is actually my favorite. Not a lot of people have bought this one yet, but this is called Bass Battle. It's like part of my wrestling days and fishing. Some battle in a bass. And then uh, got some new hats. That one, that one's coming. This one's Warox, I've been wearing it. This is my favorite hat too, by the way, now. These are uh, these are the s sales samples that I got, but this one will be available soon. The t-shirts are available now. We got sweatshirts, and ladies, we got stuff for you too. Tiff, yes, yeah, she wears them. She picks out a lot of lady stuff. But where, where can the people find them? BMP Fishing slash store. BMPfishing.com slash store. And the link will be somewhere down below this video yeah. and go below click the arrow drop down the description but what I want to do is I want to make a t-shirt for every video that'd be cool like so that and Eternity it'll just tees. be limited quantities just call them Turning Bingo. tees. Look, we're coming up with stuff Turning on the tees. fly. But that, like, if anybody has ideas, they could put them in the comments. Maybe you should start the ideas you already have. Well, we'll get out, like, maybe meat meat nuggets. <laughs> I, I feel like meat nuggets is one that could work this time. And then we could... And then the next one can be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to beep that out. <laughs> well, the only other thing it could be is... <laughs> There's nothing else that would no, make you that have work. Bleep out the whole thing. <laughs> a, a winning suggestion, they get a t-shirt. Yeah, if we Ooh. if we pick that, yeah, then we'll send you a t-shirt for free. Yeah. Like we pick that and make that shirt. Ten ninety nine jigs. Uh, if you guys are listening, <laughs> <laughs> you don't even get paid. You gotta plug your sponsors. I mean, and also, <laughs> I you don't even, even have any product. All right, I got this. I gotta get back to my job. <laughs> All right, what, uh, tell, tell me a little bit on the day. At least we can get that part knocked out. You guys haven't got that part done yet? Uh, no, we were too busy talking about meat, nu meat nuggets and... Yeah, today we got some meat nuggets. Chased some meat nuggets, caught some meat nuggets. It was good. Uh, caught three big ones in the river, two in the, in the lake. Moved up from 41st to 13th. So pretty much my typical MO here. Suck day one, find yourself in the middle, lower half of the pack, rally back on day two, slide into the top 10 for the weekend, fish on Sunday. Right on schedule. We'll see what happens tomorrow. You stoked at least? Yeah, I'm excited. Tomorrow's gonna be another beautiful day. Like, I'm just enjoying the week now because I know how rare like days like this are. And so I'm just I'm just soaking them in. I'm trying to put too much pressure on it. I tried to put too much pressure on it the first day. And it just there's no bueno. So I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Alright, day three. We made the day three cut. We're getting paid this week on the St. Lawrence River. Feeling good. It's supposed to be super calm this morning. We're gonna start out where we've been starting. It's where we've got all our biggest bites, so I'd be kind of dumb not to start there. And then the wind's supposed to pick up this afternoon, so we might not even make it to the lake today. Um, and then it's supposed to just rip tomorrow, so it's kind of that storm blowing in for Sunday. Don't exactly know what the game plan is, but I know where we're gonna start. Fingers crossed the right ones bite today. It's day three. Time to go make a little more money. Make this thing happen. You gotta make that 10 cut. We're a pound out exactly out of the top 10. It's time to go. Not 
not feel very big. Definitely not seeing as many right away this morning. That feels like a good one. I'm just not gonna chance it though with only one in the box. <laughs> Getting a little start going. Need them to get bigger. Yeah! That's the size we need. It's a meat nugget. M E A T meat nugget. Number four is a good one. Got all day for four more bites. Just gotta be patient. I got one. John, buddy. Decent. Come on. Oh, I knew there were bass down there. Makes number five. Wind is right on schedule. Come on, be a big one. I think it'll help. Gosh, that one freaking swallowed it. That was weird. All right, let's roll. I'm gonna see if I can snatch up a couple of them shallow ones. Oh, there's giants all over right here. Got one. Oh my gosh, are you, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, damn. This is, I, there's multiple fish this big up here. Gosh. Stay on there, please. The biggest one I've got all day right here. Come on, come on, get in this boat. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need you so bad. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Dude, look at that thing. That's not the only one. I saw another one this big right before it. Please, please stay on there. Oh my gosh, what a freaking job. We can make the cut in the last 10 minutes maybe. Come on. Come on, get out from under the boat. Yes! 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 Freaking wild. Talk about a freaking turn of events, huh? Freaking epic. Don't like the water. That was one of the more interesting days I've had on this body of water. It just shows you how quick it can happen. Like struggling all day. I caught one big one this morning where I'd caught all the other big ones. And then it just, they kind of just disappeared. I wasn't really seeing many. 
they had moved um, and I fished it several times and I just, I started running new stuff, um, deep and shallow, just trying to get on something, trying to figure out what these fish have done. Cause the wind changed, we got a lot more wind pushing current in the river and usually that sets them up really well where you can catch them. And the last 15 minutes I was running back to actually fish a different shallow spot and I looked and I had a couple waypoints from a few years ago that I'd caught them up shallow and I rolled up there and caught two freaking giant ones, like almost five pounders. <laughs> and then had 15 minutes to get back. The Prodigy, Brandon Polonek. At 39 pounds and seven ounces to start the day. It's a big day to get inside the top 10 and break somebody's heart. It's 16.9, 20 pounds and five ounces with 59 pounds, 12 ounces. Brandon Polnick. The top 10 in eighth place currently. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We might slide in in 10th. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. It's a good thing. It's a good sign. But it's not officially over. Mm. Is it official? Slid in by the skin of our teeth. How much did we make it by? Uh, three ounces. Three ounces? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, With the last, whatever, 15 minutes of today are literally the moments that I live for. Like why I love tournament fishing. One split decision changes your entire day that quick it was awesome like that feeling that's why i do it we slid in the cut by three ounces thanks to our life heroic last 15 minutes and yeah we're in 10th so can't really go backwards it's gonna get a little bumpy today it's gonna blow 15 to 25 out of the west southwest what's Babe Ruth say Babe Ruth don't bunt and I bunted a lot in Little League because I was fast. <laughs> All right, I am the last one out again. What's your What's your BP advice for the day? Don't suck. All right, we made it to day four. We got like a 16 pound deficit to get to first. That one's gonna be a little tough, but we got a. Uh, we got a shot to move up at least. Gain some more points. That's what we're going for today. We're gonna fish some new water. It's gonna get bumpy, windy this afternoon. I'm just gonna go have a fun day. We can't drop, we're in 10th place. So, let's go see what we can come up with. Have some fun. One of my favorite places in the world to fish. Might as well enjoy it. I think we're gonna have to go deep early this morning and then come back up shallow this afternoon after the sun gets everything heated up and these fish get up start cruising looking which is a bummer because the wind's only going to blow harder this afternoon put them in the box though someone just showed up to the party just eat it looking at it nice Remember where I lost that one the other day? It's right there. Rushed it. Get in here. He's not very big, but he crushed it. Let's run out to that mouth spot, see how bad it is.
That was Tim McGraw, I would say. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. I try so hard to catch a small mouth bass, but them little brown bastards don't want to buy my hook. But I still like it, I love it, and I want some more of it. The waves have made him lose his mind, ladies and gentlemen. Just kidding. I like this stuff. I'm done with this spot. We're gonna go look where we caught him in the last 15 minutes yesterday. There's one in there. Pretty sure. Is that a carp or is that a freaking smallmouth? Oh my gosh, those, I think those are smallmouth, but they might have spooked him. They might have spooked out of it. They're giants. Just can't fish it. Can't fish it right. I think that's just a rock. That's not a rock. That was not a rock. Oh. Come on. Problem is I keep getting, I keep getting moss all over my bait. So annoying if you know they're there and you just can't fish it properly because of the damn wind. The wind has gotten it all stirred up off the bottom and it's just floating in the water column. So it doesn't matter if it's on the bottom or up high. We're gonna have to get off here just to keep my sanity. All right, good, I'll go. I don't have a shot to win, you do. You've got a shot to win, I don't. That was officially my toughest day ever on this pond. Just frustrating, not making, just not doing the right stuff, but just a little frustrated. Six pounds, five ounces, and uh, Brandon, we talked this morning on the dock, and right away you said, uh, you know, you built your career on being the guy that takes the big risk. So yep. the guy that makes the big run, I asked you, are you going up the lake? And you looked at me and said, nope. You did not even, even think about it for a second. How come? I really didn't have anywhere to go. I mean, I found what I thought were some winning fish. Looking at them on my graph and I never could catch them. That mentally wore me out. That is a wrap for the St. Lawrence River. Today was mm, toughest day I've ever had here. But that's just part of it. I could see them. Conditions just didn't quite line up for the way that I needed to catch them. But it's okay, because we're getting ready. We're heading off to Champlain. Tiff did a fabulous job of packing up the camper. It's ready to rock and roll. We've got about a four hour drive up there and we start practice bright and early in the morning. So congrats to Chris Johnston. Impressive performance. Nicely done. And he didn't break the Century Club, so there's still hope for that. You can do that next week, right? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Probably you, not. You use but not on small mount. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. But it's a good week. Top 10. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, tell us what you like about the video, what you don't like about the video. If you guys want, pick up a little BMP fishing merch. We got hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts. You guys. Merch. Look at look for the meat oh, nugget t-shirt coming soon too. I'm going to change my clothes. Okay. Off to Champlain. I think that was my trolling motor. That's soy. Oh, I can see him starting, dude. It's still warm. I can see the. I can see him starting. The soy is kicking in already. <laughs> you see, don't they look a little saggy? <laughs> look at the wheels. Like the wheels have like a weird slope to them. My nipples point down. What do you got against me? 